Yo, what's up, man? Red light on. I'm gonna try to get this done. I've been messing around with this. I'm trying to get the angle. I wanna make sure that I'm fully in there. Well, we're gonna go with it anyway. But listen, it's, it, it's funny because the camera is not really facing me, so I be thinking that I'm not all the way in the shot, but I probably am. But anyway, good morning. Um, I just woke up, brushed my teeth, made my coffee, made my coffee, and um, I'm gonna do a smoothie today, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all. This is what I'm eating this morning. It's a smoothie, and uh, I'm gonna show you how I make my smoothies. I gotta cut up some apples, but let's get started. Let me wash my hands first. Always wash my hands. How y'all doing this morning? Y'all doing all right? If you want to get a pair of these shorts, let me know. They don't sell right now in my uh, in my store. All right, so let's get our uh, smoothie maker. All right, let's put that right there. All right, let's plug that in. Y'all can see that. So let's get, uh, I wanna get my board, cause I wanna cut up some apples, rinse it off. Put that right there. Get our knife, rinse that off. I always rinse everything off. All right, so let's get our stuff, man. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna put in. All right, so what we're gonna put in, I'm gonna put some of these in there. What are these, uh, Wild House? These are some tomatoes, I think. What the hell is this? Coke, yeah, green. So some little small tomatoes. Put that right there. All right, so I got my smoothie joint. Here's my, here's my smoothie. The thing, whatever you call this thing. What do you call this thing? I'm gonna call it the smoothie thing, right? So I already has some milk in there. So what I do, right, when I make a smoothie and I drink all of the smoothie out of that, there's a lot of residue left in the smoothie thing, the container. So rather than just let all of that go to waste and rinse it out and wash it, I don't wash it after each time I use it. What I'll do, is whatever residue is left on the container, I put the container back in the refrigerator so that it keeps, and then I'll use this container the next time I'll make my next smoothie, and it'll have some of the residue from the old stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I get all of my stuff. I don't like to be wasteful, right? So. This already got some milk in it because I had it in there from last night from when I used the other one. All right, so let's get some of these tomatoes. Let's get some of these tomatoes. Rinse them off, I always rinse my stuff off. Put that in there. All right, now let's get our greens. So we got baby spinach, baby spinach. Always rinse it off. Put that in there. You gotta get them greens in there. So I got a little bit left over. We'll save that for the next one. Alright. Pineapples. Got pineapples, cut up pineapples. I cut them up. These going bad, so I gotta hurry up and use these. Let's put the pineapples in there. Let's put a lot in there so we can. Get them before they go bad. Just because if they get a little brown, they lose a little bit of their color, that don't mean I throw them out. I still use my stuff. All right, so we got, uh, so we got black seed watermelon. All right. Let's cut a little piece of that. 
Look at that. Put that in there. With the seeds. Look at that seed right there. I eat the black seed. Black seed watermelon is a natural Viagra. I'll put the watermelon in there. So I got some great apple juice, zero added sugar. Me personally, I just concern myself with the added sugar. Some people will tell you always oh, sugar period. If, the, if it's got a lot of sugar, you shouldn't do it. I don't believe that. I think that fruits have natural sugars that, you know what I'm saying, aren't as harmful as added sugars. So, got the cucumbers. Check me out, let's put the cucumbers in there. I keep these in the freezer. Keep these in the freezer. All right. Then I got some frozen bananas. I keep the bananas in the freezer too. Put that banana in there. Then I have uh, some other Stuff blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries mixed. Let's throw that in there. See that? Throw that out. Now let's get one of our apples. So I've got an apple. Rinse it off. And put the juice back in the refrigerator. up nice, throw them joints in there. I done lost, I think I'm down to like about 160, 164 pounds. Last time I got on the scale, which was about a week or so ago, I was 165, right? I get on the scale, I strip. I go to this gym over here close to my house. They got a scale. Hold on. I fell on the floor. 
and I get on the scale, I strip down, I strip down to my underwear. I don't like to weigh myself with clothes on because that's never accurate. I like to know exactly what I weigh. So, I fell on the floor. All right, so I take these apples, you see I cut them up, so I put these in the freezer. Put these in the freezer. Right? And uh, let's, let's blend up what we got and see if we got room to put something else. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm probably about like 160. 165 right about now so I've been doing this smoothie thing for probably about a month now so I done lost when I started I was like 174 175 I think I had even went up to like 176 so I'm down about at least nine pounds at least maybe more all right so I take my thing in there so we got everything in there let's put this on and see if we can get some love on the smoothie tip. So put this in. Let's taste it first. Good stuff. to you can put some oats in there I got some granola I throw some granola in there hold up we drink a little more first hold up Somebody suggested that I do that. That I try it with the granola and the oats. What it's gonna do is make it thicker, right? It's gonna make your smoothie.
Mm-hmm. All right, so I can taste them. Always look around. Always look around the edge. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Drop that on the floor. Throw that away. So that's it. So, like, to get back to what I was saying, um, I've been doing the smoothie thing for like about a month now. A little over a month, maybe about four to five weeks. I'm down to at least nine pounds, maybe 10 or 11. I got my cup of coffee, right? So this is all I've had it. This is all I've put in my body so far, right? Is the coffee, the little bit of smoothie that I drank. And I won't eat nothing else. I got a boiled egg right here. What I do is I boil me, I love eggs, so I boil me probably about four to five eggs every day. I boil about four to five eggs every day and I snack on eggs. I keep pecans in the car and I keep almonds in my car. So I snack on that. So, I, I won't eat nothing else. After I finish that coffee, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go and do some cardio and work out, you know, run. And um, I'll come back, you know, or I may take this in the car with me and just leave it in the car. I don't care if it gets warm, you know what I'm saying? It's got milk in it, it's got juice in it. It's not gonna go bad if I have it in the car and it's hot for five or six hours, it's not gonna go bad. You know, it won't be cold, but it won't be bad. And I'm not interested in the taste, right? Cause I don't eat for taste no more. I eat to live. You know, when I used to eat for taste, I was fat. And, um, you know, borderline diabetic, you know, just all fucked up, you know? So I eat to live now. So. A lot of the stuff that I eat, it don't taste good, but I don't care, you know. For me, it's all about being healthy. It's all about looking good, right? Um, I don't take no medication for nothing. I don't have no heart disease, no kidneys, cholesterol, diabetes, stroke, no uh, erectile dysfunction. You know what I'm saying? I don't take Viagra or Cialis when I want to have sex with women. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm money. You know, my body's in good shape. My mind is cool. You know, my spirit is cool. And um, I get good sleep every night. You know, last night I probably got about, I, I get at least six and a half to seven hours of sleep every night. That's mandatory for me. I make sure that I make that happen. I don't play with my sleep. I know that sleep is the restoration process. It's the healing process. It's the uh, it's the repair uh, network of the body. And you know you gotta go to sleep because sleep refreshes you and it it uh, recharges you when you come back stronger than what you were the day before. So, that's it. Uh, I got peanut butter. I could have put some peanut butter in there, but I didn't. I uh, got some maca powder. Got some maca powder. You could have put that in there. But I usually do the maca powder just straight up. So that's it. So that's what I'm gonna do to start my day. Uh, I work out seven days a week. I don't take no prescription medications for nothing. 
ain't on no medication. I don't go to the doctor. I don't get sick. I don't get the flu. I don't get no colds. I don't get none of that. And I live here in, in the North Jersey, Northeast part of the United States. It gets cold here in the wintertime. I don't never get sick. I'm in great shape. You know, and I think a part of physical, uh, a big part of being physically fit is being mentally fit, right? Because the body is the servant of the mind, right? I don't, I don't, you know, my mind is strong. I got a strong mind. I got a strong mind. And, you know, I love myself, right? So I treat myself right. And I feed myself good thoughts, right? I stay away from negative people. You know what I'm saying? I don't get involved in nothing that's detrimental to my mind, which could then become uh, inevitably debilitating and detrimental to my body. You understand? I got to be strong. I got to make sure I stay strong at all times. You understand? I got to be strong. I got to be stronger than everybody else. I got to be stronger than all 8 billion people on the planet. That's how I think. And I got to survive, I got to last, you know. Um, so, I do the smoothie joint, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just some. something, this is what I do. It helped me lose some weight. If you go look at some of my older videos, my stomach is still, uh, it's still fat on my stomach, you understand? But it was a lot, my stomach was a lot bigger than that. Um, you go back 90 days to February, March. So I done slimmed down, like I say. You know, I look good, I already know that. So I don't worry too much about that. I'm not trying to get, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't take no supplements, man. I don't take no supplements at all. I don't take no hydroxy cut, no amphetamines, no pre-workout. No creatine, no protein powder, no steroids, no HGH, no TRT, none of that. You understand? I'm 54 years old and I look like this. And I go to any calisthenics park, any gym, and get money with anybody. You understand? And hold my own. You understand? Um, I think a lot of that has to do with my prison mentality that no matter what, who, what, where, why, when, or what, or whatever, you understand, you don't back down from no challenge, you understand, and you always show and prove that you can get busy with anybody, you understand, that's how I think, you understand, I don't look for no um, head start or no handicap, nah, nigga, handicap yourself, don't handicap me. So, this is how I live my life. You know, I got a good quality of life. Um, I still have good sex with women. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no Viagra, you understand? My dick get hard on its own and it stay hard, you know, throughout the whole joint. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that erectile dysfunction is mental. That is mental. You know, if you suffer from depression and things like that, and then if your body ain't working right, you understand? If, if you got a lot of belly fat, if you fat, you gonna have erectile dysfunction. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Your kitty cat ain't gonna get wet. You understand? Because you got so much fat blocking the blood flow from the heart because sexual stimulation comes from the mind. Right, for both men and women. It comes from the dome. So you mentally get stimulated in the dome. You see a fly honey, you know, you see her naked or with panties on, which is what I like. I like to see him with panties on. That gets me excited. Boom, the brain gets excited. It sends the signal to the heart. The heart starts pumping blood. And then the blood flow fl flows from the pulmonary artery, um, is it the left and right pulmonary artery, or is it from the pulmonary artery and the aorta? Whatever, the, the heart starts pumping the blood, the blood goes down 
to the penis, and then an erect penis is nothing but blood flow into the penis, right? But if, if you got um, a lot of fat constricting the veins carrying the blood to the clitoris, the female, to the clit, you know what I'm saying? Or to the vagina. If you got a lot of fat constricting the blood flow to your vagina, your joint not going to get wet. You know what I'm saying? And for dudes, if you got a lot of um, what they call that stuff that's in the veins, decay, what do they call that stuff blocking the arteries? If you got stuff in there blocking your arteries that carry the blood flow, not enough blood is going to get to the penis or not enough blood is going to get to the vagina to get you sexually aroused. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're fat, you carry too much weight or you're depressed or whatever. You know what I'm saying? All that work together. So if you want to be lean around your waist area, you want to eat good, you know what I'm saying, you want to sleep good, and you want to think positive, you want to think power, you want to think power, you want to think strength, you want to think power, you want to think I can do, I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying, I'm the man, you know what I'm saying, I'm him, I'm, I'm all that, I'm nice, I'm dope, you know, you gotta be confident, in yourself, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta love yourself, you gotta accept yourself. You gotta have a high self-perception of yourself. I got all this stuff, you know? I have a level of arrogance about myself and a level of conceit about myself that I believe is necessary. I think everybody needs to have a level of arrogance and a level of conceit about themselves in order to keep themselves on um, a productive path in their life. You know what I'm saying? And you keep the suckers away like that, right? Because you gotta judge people. Anybody that's not on your level, anybody that's not thinking the way that you think, anybody that's not programming the way you programming, anybody that's not vibrating the way that you're vibrating, you gotta judge them. And then you have to decide that, yo, that's. That particular behavior right there is beneath me. You know, this particular conversation right here, this doesn't even interest me, this is beneath me. And you separate yourself from that so that you can stay on your course in your life. You know what I'm saying? And protect your peace and your happiness. That's my philosophy. You ain't gotta agree if you don't want to. Go get you a pair of these shorts, man. These shorts is on my website, Dope Shorts. This is all embroidered, embroidered into the garment. See what I'm saying? This isn't, it's not silk screen. Part four, you understand? This is my brand. I'm gonna put the link underneath this video. They're $95, go get your pair. I got them in white. The black ones are almost sold out. So whatever on the website, whatever size is up there, that's all I got left. I done sold them all. So shout out to everybody that bought. I appreciate all of y'all. All right, man. Peace.